Alright guys, welcome back to part... Ooh, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, part... Five! Five! I believe! Of our full play of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Bam, 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 bam. Right, welcome back, guys, one and all. Guys, ladies, weird, amorphous, anamorphs things... Animorphs, guys. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, Animorphs were the best, though. No, they were not. Animorphs were even, so fucking cool. Don't you even fucking start with that bullshit. Too bad. All right. Anyway, hello, fellow Animorphs. What? Oh, right. So, we oh, left yes. off with your Stanley, Stanley, Stanley getting to the front of the line. And guess what? I fucking ended up at the front of the line. It was fantastic. And one thing that I was a little bit miffed about that I kind of left out of the beginning of the story is that my friend uh, Christian, he's been a guest on the show before, you know, the oh, yeah, Christian episode. Went with you guys? He went with us. He was our, uh, um, oh, look at things talking to us. Blah, blah, blah. He was our third fella. Yeah. Anyway, he was already in there because he's a huge fan of Game of Thrones. Oh, well, there you go. And I'm like, okay, so I'm like, he was, you know, he's in there already, so we didn't have to get three of us and just. Miraculously, Nick and I ended up together for the Stan Lee line. I'm like, and it's fun. He just disappeared and just like just ends yeah. up the front. Yeah, big, big, uh, big word there. Miraculously. I wonder how you manage that. I'm so sorry, Dave, that I am educated, unlike one of us in this room. We're talking about the jelly beans. Oh, <laughs> the jelly beans are uneducated, Dave. They are good jelly beans. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, Anyhow, I'm eating so on the camera though. It's fine. We're fucking anyway. with the camera. God damn it. Fuck Shut it. up. Anyway, so um, the end of the Game of Thrones panel is coming to uh, fruition. <laughs> fruition. Thank you. It's coming to fruition. Yeah. Coming to fruition, and people start walking out. All right. Now hold on. Oh yeah. This is something. Skull Kid. Yeah, basically, we Skull Kid. basically what the story is is this kid right here found these two fairies. Blah 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 blah. Or they found each other. And then Aww, he cute. stole Majora's mask. It's kind of adorable. I think this is actually the cutscene that explains him stealing the mask. It's kind of cute. Anyway, very, very interesting storyline that they have going on for this. Yeah, anyway, he, like um, Skull Kid is like maybe the most unique villain in all of you know. He was uh, he was mildly present in the Ocarina, Ocarina of Time mm -hmm. in the Hidden Forest. I'm aware of that, yes. Or the Lost Woods, that's it. I recall that. He That was a very creepy, creepy scene, because um, if you got too close to him, he would just backflip and then disappear. Mm -hmm. It's true. He's interesting. Yeah, right here. Right, this is him knocking out the one ma the happy mask salesman and then stealing Majora's mask. Yes, I have the power to control the moon in Termina. I am a god. Basically, he got all this power, and now he's... Skull Kid's kind of like kid. a tragic villain, almost. Because like, he's like, you know, a cool, fun guy no one wanted to play with. His only friends are a couple of fucking fairies. And then all of a sudden, he's like, ah, now I have yeah, the power I to get yeah, back Yeah, I know value. what they're talking about. He's I got, basically I got friends. Shooter. I got friends up in Lakewood, too. <laughs> no one knows what that means. Shout out to, like, the one person that'll get that. Thanks, Amanda. No one has no idea. Thank Thanks, you. Amanda. I know you got that one. Oh, my God. The Shout one. out to you. Hey, how you doing today? <laughs> you good? Hi, Amanda. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Whoa, bat. Keys. It's a keys. Oh, my God. No, the Skull Kid's basically the school shooter of Blood and Zelda villains. Yeah, I, mm -mm. I, yeah. It's like when you give the lonely nerdy kid a gun. Except this time it's the Majora's Mask. God damn it. Anyway, now um, so I make it to the beginning of Stanley, and miraculously, yes. I start yes. to learn that um, all of this work was for nothing. <laughs> because, because people start shuffling loads out. Loads of people start shuffling out of the panel. I'm like, wait, what is this? Who and does I go in, is he Stanley? and half the room is gone, and we have seats next to Christian. I'm wow! Like, I did all of that work and manip manip manipulation all for All of that nothing. manipulation for Dick. For no reason, it turns out the entire line was able to get in. Oh man! Yes, that's great though. So I mean, that's Where amazing for everyone, but also it means that like none of my work went to like, amounted to anything. <laughs> I still think it's funny. I also believe it's so. worth the story. It is very much worth the story, but also all right. Fuck. So. 
Welcome to the f uh, the swamp. Yay! I forget what this place is called, but I, I, I just call it the swamp. I also am not aware. So there's like, yeah, there's like a couple of things we can do, but... Good thing we're not recording this or anything, so people don't know how idiotic we are. Yeah, really. Good thing. Thank God. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Yay! We do it. We're doing it. Every time you you make it to a thing, I'm gonna get excited for it. We did it. We no, did yeah, the it. Whole, the whole Chicago um Comic and Entertainment Expo. Uh, I had a very good time with it. I did cosplay for the first time ever. That's right. Who'd you go as? I was Hugo Strange. That's right. You were Hugo Strange for the Batman universe, right? Yes, I was. He was like one of Batman's first villains ever. Hugo Strange. Like, he is in, like, the first, like, Batman thing, like, the yeah. Detective Comics is, you know, involved in. But, uh, it's, like, very cool. I dressed up as him, and I was the only Hugo Strange. Cool. At this whole, like, 20,000 person convention. Like, probably even more. I'm not good at numbers. That's nice. <laughs> but, like, that was cool. I was the only Hugo Strange, and, like, a lot of people recognized me. And people were taking photos with me, and a lot of the guy, vendors, the comic vendors, would get really hyped to see me, and they'd be like, "Oh my god, you're cute, Will Strange! That's fucking awesome!" That's awesome. I know, I was getting hyped. And Christian, he went as Calendar Man, which is less less recognizable, <laughs> which is a little dumber than the fucking one thing. Yeah, he goes Strange is a cool guy. By the well, way, there's uh, depending on which time of day you go, there's three different paths that this monkey will take you. Basically, you gotta be a deco scrub to catch the fuck up with them. You're doing it though. But um, anyway, he was Calendar Man, and he was—he didn't go as you know the Calendar Man that you would like that we all know and love. <laughs> Shit, I lost the monkey. Fuck, you hate it when that happens. Fuck. But um, I we we got him in like a red suit, like a red um. Blazer, red fedora. Ah, I hit the, I hit the thing. Here we go. Very tiny aviators that you wear on the rim of your nose. Um, very tiny aviators. Black pants, and we just fucking stuffed calendars everywhere. Wow. So like, he went as the discount cosplay. Like, yeah, but also it looks fucking cool. It's the coolest calendar man has ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Like, you know, he looked really good, and a lot of people were like, dude, that's a fucking awesome costume, but I have no idea what you are. Calendar Man. <laughs> and, like, even, what a like, fucking obscure reference, too. I know. Calendar Man has, like, got nothing like that. Like, the only thing that people know Calendar Man from is maybe the, his appearance in the Arkham games. No, you know what they know him from? Mm -hmm. Uh, Venture Brothers. <laughs> did they mention him in Venture Brothers? They did, like... This is really shitty calendar man joke. <laughs> Good. Like, Good. uh, I think they named him Mr. Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's when the monarch was in jail. And okay. they, had this, they had this guy named Mr. Monday, and then and then when uh, Monarch was doing his big escape plan, mm -hmm. he was like, oh, can I be the president of calendars? <laughs> By the way, he had that voice, and I just loved it. The I loved every of second of it, and I'm like, that is the dumbest fucking thing I have ever seen. <laughs> can I be the president of calendars? <laughs> president of calendars? Oh, God. Okay, so this guy. I don't know oh where he's God, I don't Randy know where he's from originally. Savage. It's Randy Savage. Yeah, it's Randy Savage. I got three minutes with you, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Miss Elizabeth and I. Anyway, um... <laughs> so... Blah, blah, blah. He, um... We get this thing called a Picto Box. It doesn't really do a whole lot. I mean, Good. it's there kind of like as an extra thing, and then it does two or three other things, but... Beyond that, it's just kind of like it's not a... not necessary. No, it's kind of just like, hey, look at we, what we can do. Hey, Please inquire at Magic Hats Potion Shop. It, it just, oh God. Uh, Whatever. God. I think I had to be there the first day. Interesting. Anyway, um... Oh, fuck Sorry to break off again. Um, was it? Oh, yeah, no. Christy was Calendar Man. Yeah. Nick did not dress up. Oh. What, he, was, what was he gonna go as? He, I believe, wanted to be Scarecrow. Did he... Did, <laughs> Did he wanted to do, uh, what was the one thing that he kept mentioning? Because I kept joking with him, I'm like, are you going to be dressing up as, uh, 
uh, oh shit, what's, what's the one? I think you mentioned Condiment Man. Condiment Man? That was a thing he wanted to be at one point. No, I mentioned, I brought this one. It's, uh, holy crap, I can't think of it. I don't, I don't know what you're referring to, so I can't help you with this, Dave, I don't know. Um, shit. Oh, Is God. it stupid? Yeah, it's incredibly crazy stupid. Crazy Quilt? <laughs> crazy Quilt. No, it's not Crazy Quilt, stupid. It's a pretty dumb one. It's a pretty fucking stupid one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Dave. I can't help you here. God, I, I feel like an idiot. Like, what's it from? It's its own anime. It's like, uh... Uh, fuck. What is it from? It's about this, uh... Mm, Tell me what it's about. Maybe I can help you. Alright, so it's got... Shit, that doesn't even describe it. Like, I'm trying to come up with like a scenario where I would describe what I'm thinking of, mm -hmm. but all anime is like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You'll think of it. Yeah, I'll think of it. Whatever. Anywho, so Christy got no recognition. It Penny was funny stocking and garter belt. Oh. That's, what I, <laughs> that's what I said you should dress up as. Oh, man, that would have been... Gross. <laughs> it would have been disgusting with Nick. Anyway, no, um, I was Ego Strange, Christie's Counter Man. Even, like, there was this one comic vendor that was a really cool guy, gave us a discount. Oh, that's sweet. I bought a 9 11 uh, DC book from him about all of um, the DC artists and, like, writers' reactions to 9 11 through yeah. comics. It's actually kind of fascinating, and he gave it to me for very cheap. Because cool. the dude liked me a lot, and he liked my cosplay. And I'm like, wait, 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 you know, you know, you know about Batman. What do you think of this guy? And I showed him Christian's outfit. And the dude's like, I don't have any idea. By the way, I gotta cut you off. This is what I'm gonna be fighting in down in the hole, except the adults. Oh boy, this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be hard. Oh, it's gonna be cute. But, um... No, like, not even, like, the guy who fucking, like, was getting hype about me and saying how much he loves Batman could have guessed Calendar Man. Fuck. See, there we go. We made an attempt, and we failed. But, um... Couldn't even guess Calendar Man. <laughs> he, didn't, he couldn't guess Calendar Man, which is so fucking funny, which made us laugh even harder. That, like, Nobody guesses coolest, Calendar Man. Because he was the funniest-looking Calendar Man. He's the best-looking Calendar Man's ever been. And, like, you know... It, like, he didn't dress as a specific version of Calendar Man. We just tried to make Calendar Man look badass. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him guns. No, not even that. We just made him cool. Like, hey, our Calendar go. Man is like a Calendar Man that would show up in that, like, dumbass Gotham show. Our Calendar Man is a Calendar Man we could be proud of. <laughs> we were proud of the fact that we made Calendar Man presentable. Yeah. Because he's dumb as shit. Because <laughs> he is fucking dumb. But that's why we love him. We love Calendar Man. As dumb um, as a game of Dutch. Then, um, one thing that was fascinating to me... Yeah. Uh, was, uh, was the second day, Sunday, the day that the Stan Lee thing happened, uh, I did not dress up at all. Yeah. I wore one of my normal outfits. Yeah. But I got stopped by plenty of people telling me that I look exactly like a character, Wakikapo. Wakikapo? There was, like, a lot of people were like, Dude, Wakikapo, that's fucking hilarious! And then, like, I'm like, oh, sorry, man, I'm not with Kikapo. And they're like, oh, man, you, just, well, you look so like him. That's so funny. Then a little kid was walking by with his dad, and he pointed at me. He goes, what Kikapo? <laughs> what the fuck is this Wakikapo thing? Okay, who's Wakikapo? I have no fucking idea. I have We've tried. got problems with the internet. No, Dave, it doesn't work. I have fucking tried every single spelling and different thing possible to find this fucking Wikikapo. I have friends that are more worried about it than I am, and they are fucking texting me over and over again like, dude, what the fuck is Wikikapo? We cannot find it. I have searched anime character Hawaiian shirt. I have searched I hurt my mom anime character, because I was wearing I hurt my mom t-shirt. Like, I don't fucking know. I can't find it. Holy crap, yeah, you're right. Like, you cannot find what this Wakikapo is. And it's difficult because it has so many different possible spellings. And I get, and I'm like, fuck, I'm pissed. Because <laughs> finally, like, after being approached by, like, maybe five people being told that I am a fucking amazing Wakikapo, <laughs> like, I decided, you know, like, you know what? The next guy that asked me, 
I'm going to ask him what the hell what Kiki Poe is. Yeah. And it never happened again. Ah. Uh, that whole day. I was walking around the main floor just so I can get someone saying, Hey, what Kiki Poe? Yeah. But nope, none of it. I was so fucking pissed because I'm like, I need to know what this fucking thing is. <laughs> what the fuck is what Kiki Poe? I have no idea what a quick Kiki Poe is. And I'm like, maybe I misheard it. Is it La Kikapo? Is it Ra Kikapo? Oh, yeah. oh. Like I have, like I have searched every single variation that I could figure out, and I just have no idea what the fuck this thing is. What the fuck is with Kikapo? But I accidentally got like a uh, made a cosplay that got better, more freaked out reactions than my Hugo Strange one did. That's awesome, though. I know, but also it's frustrating because. But like, you put work into Hugo it? Strange, and you just dick around as Wikikapo. Yeah, I just <laughs> like Wikikapo is an outfit I wear to like places in public. Like this is a real outfit that I wear, and people are like, Wikikapo. see it, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's fucking Wikikapo!" Who the fuck is Wikikapo? I have no idea what Wikikapo is. Oh my god, we are so. Un- we were also frustrated. I'm like, I what the fuck is this Wakikapo thing? That thing was that was fantastic. That was the most annoying. Like that was the biggest like fuss. Like it was weird that we were only there for two days. Like yeah. we got in Friday, kind of late Friday night when it started. We didn't go to the actual convention. We just stayed in the hotel. Oh, um, that sucks. Yeah, uh, that was part of the plan though. You know, we had things to do Friday. Nick worked. That kind of thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you just show up late and you're like, ah, well, we're we like, can take okay, it easy for one Saturday night. and Sunday are what we're doing. We're fucking not leaving. Well, Kikapo is gonna rest. Exactly. So, um, Friday so was gonna be fucking... his Wakikapo best. There we... Fuck you. Um, <laughs> Friday was an interesting. It was an. It was a pretty nice drive. Oh, look at you. You made it yeah. down. Rest Sorry, I'm just going around right now. Like, yeah, just, just finding shit. The, getting all the bullshit. Oh, yeah. by the way, yeah, um, if you zoom in on an enemy and then you click the up arrow, yeah, uh, it gives you a description of the enemy. Uh-huh. That's kind of yeah. nice. Yeah, it's actually kind of neat. But, um, so Friday was kind of a nice drive until, like, about, like, uh, f- like half an hour away from the city. It starts fucking pouring. That sucks. Like, so I've never driven into Chicago before. And I was driving, and it was, like, stressful because it was raining so hard, I couldn't see the lanes. That's And at that one point, we more. were on a 12-lane highway. 12-lane highway. Like, and we just, like, and we had no idea which lane we're on. Who needs a, t- who needs a 12-lane highway? I, apparently this, because it was pretty busy. <laughs> but, um, like, it was stressful, but we highway. finally get there, we, uh, we park, we pay for the parking right there, just yeah. to make sure we know how much money we have. It was 90 bucks for three days. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. But um, then we go into the um, the hotel, and I don't know if you know this about me, Dave, but I pride myself in my ability to like find good deals when I'm staying th- places. Yeah, yeah. We got bumped up the last time we went to. Exactly. Country. When uh, you and I went to Baltimore, we get when, we got bumped up to the presidential suites. Yeah, we actually got bumped up two floors and a larger room. Not even the two floors. We were fucking near the bottom. And we got bumped up to a floor wherein we need to use our room key to get to that floor in the elevator. I didn't realize we were actually at the bottom. I thought we got bumped up a couple floors. No, we got bumped oh, up shit. so fucking much. That's sweet. We got from, like, the cheapest-ass room you can get. And we're like, oh, to- sorry, we actually accidentally double-booked it, but we can offer offer you this. Way to I'm go, like, Wikikapo. What? Yeah, <laughs> fucking Wikikapo nailing it. Who the fuck is Wikikapo? Please, guys... <laughs> Tell us who Wakikapo is. Like, if I, anyone watching this knows what the fuck a Wakikapo is. I will is, personally give you a high five and a sandwich. Please fucking tell me these things. Please. But, um... No, it was, like, Friday night was fun. We got... We go into the hotel. Yeah. And, you know, I... And I found this deal. Like, I've got... I use Booking.com, and it gave me a really, like... And I, I've got these <laughs> Booking.com points, and you can use them to, like, redeem, like, better rooms and stuff. That's cool. I'm like, okay... There's three of us. We can split this price. It won't be too much. The tickets for the convention weren't actually that much either, like, which was cool. By the way, he just gave me a bigger wallet. Yay! We got an adult wallet. Yeah, I can hold up to two hundred rupees. Yay! But um, so we like we go to check in, and we are so out of place in this thing. We're at the Chicago Hilton. What are they doing? It is the like classiest fucking hotel I have ever been in. 
I think... I think I, I have to skip it to the third day. Ooh, I think. Um, I'm kind of... I'm kind of, like, stuck. Alright, so, for, in fair... In all fairness, there's a bunch of stuff I could do. That's a training dojo. I can do it to go get a heart. That's the lottery right there. I can go do that to gamble my life away. And there's some stuff down this way, and blah, 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 blah. Just but make a decision. There's not you a lot that I want... That I want to do. Yeah, it makes sense. A lot of this game is like that. Like, there's a shit ton I can do right now, and I just don't know what I want to do. There's just there's not a lot that I want to do. Exactly. Anyway, so I um I show up at this hotel, and I know that I had gotten a uh, Lakeview um breakfast and Wi-Fi package. Oh, that's cool. That's what I asked for. Sweet. And like I and I got it for a pretty good price. Um, actually, like really fucking good for what I uh, what we ended up getting. Yeah, uh, hundred forty a night. I bet. For um, I mean, especially for a Boston nights. convention. Fucking fuck you, Chicago. You oh, asshole. I keep saying Boston. I'm sorry. You actually. said Baltimore first, then you're now we're saying Boston. I well, okay. Well, if I paid attention, uh, you know what? You're right. You're right. Anyway, so Chicago Hilton, and we're so out of place. It's so nice, and I like go up to the, like the check-in counter. Uh -huh. and we're wearing our like shitty clothes and everyone there is fucking dressed up like so well and I'm like hey like cosplay um, dressed up or just dressed no, up no I mean like it was like classy ass area cause the, our hotel wasn't the one connected to the convention ours uh, was a mile okay. off the street cause that one was so you full. would just walk down the street yeah no they had a shuttle for us for a bed. that was nice yeah but um so I, I go it's to check in and the guy's like can I help you sir I'm like yeah my name's Perk. I have a reservation for the, like the breakfast and Wi-Fi thing. He's like, "Oh, well, yeah, your room. <laughs> we got yourself a room. It's one of my favorites." I'm like, "What? That's that's creepy." I'm like, "That's okay." And um, like he's like, "How many room keys do we need?" I'm like, three, and that usually costs a little extra. Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Yeah, that usually costs a little extra, but I'll let you have it." I'm like, oh, "Yay!" So like then we go up and we notice that like none of the elevators like they're all the elevators are labeled with what floor they go to. We're on the 21st floor, and we're like, none of these go up to the 21st floor. I don't get it. They all go up to 19. Then we notice that there's a whole suite of executive elevators. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> and they go up to the top floors. And I'm like, oh, what did I get us and do this yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's see. So I take the executive ec elevator with a fell that all looks right, like monkey, an executive. Yay, monkey. That looks like an executive. The fucking, like, the dude just, like, hopped in, and we're sitting there like, oh, man, there's trivia in this elevator? <laughs> <laughs> you know you're fancy when you've got trivia in your elevator. We were getting pretty hype about the trivia, and the dude's just like, oh, my God, who are these people? But, um, there it is. So we get our floor, we find our room, and it's the fucking nicest hotel room I have ever stayed in. Oh, man. Like, by far. Oh, look at that thing happening. I gotta be human. Sub whore. You gotta give her a potion. She's kinda hot. Ew. I'd tap that. But it's the nicest hotel I've ever seen. Not only, like, first of all, it has two king size beds. It has a, com uh, a, uh, like, 48 inch computer. Like, desktop. That it's says, well, yeah, it's a computer that came with the room, and it said, welcome Elijah Turk on it. I'm like, that's fucking sweet. Damn. I am okay with that concept. And, like, I'm like, okay, that's that's interesting. Let's, uh, what's, what's else in here? The, the TV is fucking huge in HD and has all of the paid channels. And we had two bathrooms. Really? We had two bathrooms in a hotel room. Yeah. This is some weird bullshit that I have never witnessed before. Wow. And the view was fucking fantastic. We had a lake view room. <laughs> God damn, you got a lot. Yes, for 140 a night. Wow. It was fantastic. I'm like, how the fuck did I manage this? <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? Like, did I accidentally, like, promise my butthole to someone? Like, that's what it felt like. <laughs> Who did I impress? What did I do to this? Should we, how long have we been recording this episode? Uh, this is uh, about 25 minutes. What's that? Uh, yeah, let's, let's call, call this part 5. Yeah, let's call it part 5. Alright guys, 
thanks for joining us. Um, I'm kind of just going to... I've been just running around a bit, so... Whatever. I've been into entertaining us. Yep. All right. We'll pick up next time on Pigeon Holes. Bye. Bye.